I'm going to show you how to make the large applique parrot from Creative Kiwi. For this I'm going to be using a 5x7 hoop, two layers of wash away stabiliser per hooping, a selection of matching bobbins and threads, I've also got some monofilament with a matching bobbin as well, I've got some masking tape, some pins with heads on them, any pins will work, they don't have to be anything special, my squizzers and my fabrics and batting cut to size. Start off by hooping your two layers of wash waste stabiliser. So place your stabiliser down over the outside frame and then insert the inside one. We're now going to pin around the top edge of our hoop and that's going to stop the stabiliser from being pulled down between the two hoop parts. So take a pin with a head, any pin will do, place it on top of the inside of your hoop and push it through the stabiliser. Then bring it back round and through the stabiliser again and that will anchor it and you're going to do that on all four sides. The larger your hoop size, the more pins you will use of course. Load file one into your machine, that's the tail of the parrot, along with a neutral matching bobbin and thread, and then you're going to stitch round number one, and that's going to give you a placement outline for your batting. Place your batting over the outline, and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine, and stitch round number two to secure it. Trim away the excess batting from around the edge of the stitch line. We're going to add our backing fabric and front fabric to this area here next. So turn your hoop over, place your fabric over the outline and tape it in place. And do the same on the front. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number three to secure them. Trim up along this stitch line here just to remove anything that's going to get in the way when we add our other fabrics. So I'm going to go from here. And I'm going to do the same on the back. I'm going to put my tape down just to hold that out of the way. And the same on the front. We're now going to add the fabric for here. So turn your hoop over. Of course, if you're doing a non-reversible one, you won't have to put your fabrics on the back. You just work from the front of the hoop, but I'm going to show you how to do the double-sided one. So take your fabric, place it over this area here, and tape it in place. And do the same on the front as well. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number four to secure them. We're now going to trim up along here, ready to place our next fabric down. So turn your hoop over and trim up along the edge of the stitch line as we did for the first fabric. And once more I'm going to place my tape back down just to hold the flappy bits out of the way. 
So next we're going to lay our third fabric over this area here. So turn your hoop over, place it over the outline and tape it in place. And do the same on the front. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number five to secure your fabrics. Remove all the tape from your hoop and then we're going to trim up our all our fabrics both back and front of the hoop. So starting with the back, turn your hoop over and trim away. Next is the zigzag stitching around all the raw edges so you might want to load a monofilament which is like a clear nylon into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number six. Round number seven is the satin stitching around the yellow fabric here. So load your matching bobbin and thread for that into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number seven. The next area to be stitched is the satin stitching around the blue fabric. So load your matching bobbin and thread into your machine for that and then stitch round number eight. And last but not least for this segment Load a matching bobbin and thread colour for the red into your machine and then stitch round number nine. As you'll probably have noticed earlier, I was using yellow thread for the zigzag stitching because it was the lightest uh, colour in the tail. You're, you're advised to use monofilament so that you don't get areas of um, stitching showing through underneath. However, if you do have them at any time, they're easily remedied by taking a sharpie pen, the nearest colour to your thread, and then just touching it up. And nobody will ever know that it showed. And that's our first segment complete. We're now going to free this from the hoop. So turn your hoop over and trim carefully round the edge of the stitch line. We're just going to trim up this edge here close to the stitch line just so that when we come to do our joins there's nothing sticking out and it's all nice and neat. And that's our first segment complete. So we're now going to do the second hooping which is the feathers and the feet of the bird. So hoop and pin your two layers of wash away stabiliser. Load your neutral matching bobbin and thread into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number one and that's going to give you a placement outline for your batting. Place your batting over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it. Trim away all the excess batting from around the edge of the stitch line.
you're going to place your front and back fabrics for this area here so turn your hoop over place your fabric over the outline and tape it in place and now do the same on the front pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number three to secure them I've just swapped out my matching bobbin and thread for something more neutral for this. We're now going to stitch round number three. You're now going to trim up the excess fabric from along this area here, just so that when you put your next fabric over here, it's not going to get in the way. So we'll start on the back. We're now going to put our next fabric down over this area here. So put it in place and tape it down. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number four to secure them. So trim away the excess from around here where this fabric is going to meet this one and we're going to start on the back. We're now going to place our third fabric down in this area here. So turn your hoop over, place it over the outline and tape it in place. And now do the same on the front. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number five to secure them. We're now going to trim up the fabric just around here where the leg is. And we're going to do that on both back and front again. We're now going to place our red fabrics, or whichever colour you are going to be using, over this area here. So turn your hoop over, put it in place and tape it down. And do exactly the same on the front. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number six to secure them. We're now going to trim up around here where the foot fabric is going to be up against the red here. So turn your hoop over and trim it up. Place a little bit of tape there just to stop that from falling underneath. Place your fabric for the foot over this area here. So turn your hoop over, place it down and tape it in place. And now you're going to do the same on the front. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number seven to secure it. You're going to trim up all the excess fabric from both back and front of your hoop. So turn your hoop over and trim away.
making sure that you've got a neutral bobbin and thread loaded into your machine you're now going to stitch round number eight and that's going to do the zigzag stitching around here we're now going to join the previous segment to this one and we're going to do that where the zigzagging stops and you want to place this stitch line here on top of this stitch line here I'm going to turn this around so that I can see what I'm doing and then we're going to secure it in place now I'm going to use a pin if you use pins make sure that you keep them right out of the way of the stitch line and the stitch line is going to be here and I'm also going to add a little bit of tape just to hold this down once you've done that you're going to pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number nine and that's going to zigzag along here and join this segment to this one so just check your join to make sure that you're happy with it and there it is I'm happy with that then you're going to pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number 10 and that's going to zigzag all the raw edges remaining with the exception of rounds here the next area to be stitched is a satin stitching around here so load your matching bobbin and thread for the foot into your machine and then stitch round number 11 load your matching bobbin and thread for the leg into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number 12 and that's going to do the satin stitching load your matching bobbin and thread for the blue area into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number 13 and that's going to do the satin stitching of all the feathers in that area load your matching bobbin and thread for the green area into your machine then you're going to stitch round number 14 and that's going to do the satin stitch feathers load a matching bobbin and thread for the yellow area into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number 15 and that will complete the feathers so that's our second um, hoop incomplete we can now remove this from the hoop so turn your hoop over and carefully trim around the edge we're now going to trim along the edge here just to neaten it up take care not to cut the stitch line of course and that's our second hooping complete you're now going to do your third hooping so load your third file into your machine which is the head and then you're going to hoop and pin your two layers of wash away stabilizer pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one and that's going to give you a placement outline for your batting place your batting over the outline and tape it in place pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it and that's also going to stitch your placement outlines for your fabrics trim away the excess batting from around the edge of the stitch line
Then you're going to turn your hoop over and place your backing fabric for the um, head and shoulders over the outline and then tape it in place. And now you're going to do exactly the same on the front. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number three to secure them. You're now going to trim away around here. So turn your hoop over and trim around the edge of the stitch line. Now do the same on this side. Place your fabrics for the cheeks next. So turn your hoop over, place it over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number four to secure your fabrics. We're now going to trim up along here where the beak fabric's going to go. So turn your hoop over, starting with the back. Turn your hoop over, place your fabric for the beak over the outline and tape it in place. And now do the same on the front. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number five to secure it. Trim up all the excess fabric from both back and front of your hoop. So turn your hoop over. Making sure that you've got a neutral thread loaded into your machine or your monofilament. You're now going to stitch round number six and that's going to do the majority of the zigzagging around the raw edges and then it will stop when we come to join the other part of the body to this segment. So we're now going to do the join. I'm going to turn this around so I can see what I'm doing. You're going to place this stitch line here on top of this stitch line here between the two zigzag areas. And we're going to tape and pin it in place to secure it. And again, keeping all pins right out of the way of the stitch line. You might have to pull on this a little bit to stretch it because once you take something out of the hoop it relaxes so uh, you just have to give it a little tug okay so i'm gonna put a little bit of tape just to hold those edges down Once you've done that, you're going to pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number seven. And that's going to do the zigzag stitching to secure the two segments together. We 
We're now going to do the yellow of the eye, so make sure you've got a matching bobbin and thread loaded into your machine for that. And then you're going to stitch round number eight. Change your matching bobbin and thread to black and then you're going to stitch round number nine and that's going to be the black of the eye. Load your matching bobbin and thread for the satin stitching on the beak into your machine and stitch round number ten. Load your matching bobbin and thread colour for the satin stitching around the head and shoulders and then you're going to stitch round number 11. So that's our parrot all stitched. We're now going to turn the hoop over and free this from the hoop. All that remains to do now is to dissolve the excess wash waste stabiliser from around the edge and on the back. So I've got some warm water and a cotton bud here. Just dip it in and wipe it around the edge. And that's our beautiful parrot completed. I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos as soon as they're published. Do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's always lots of help, ideas and inspiration there for everybody. And thank you very much for joining me. You'll find a link to this design in the video description below, along with discount codes for you as well.